Why do parallel train tracks converge? Well, they don't really. You could walk down the tracks for miles, and they're always the same distance apart. But why did they appear to converge at a point on the horizon? There's an easy answer, and once you see it, it's obvious. It involves a few simple geometric facts. First, think of a line in space. Imagine looking at that line straight on. You see that line as a point. Next, take a plane in space and look at that plane sideways. That plane appears to you as a line. Let's put these two ideas together. Take a plane in space and another plane that intersects it at a line, shown red. Now look at this configuration straight down that red line and think of what you'd see. The red line appears as a point. You're looking at both of those planes sideways, so they appear as straight lines that meet that point. We need just one more fact, and that is that a line and a point in space determine a plane. It's the unique plane containing both the line and the point. And this is all you need to know to understand why the tracks converge. It works like this. Say you're standing on the tracks. Say you have one eye open. Your open eye is a point. Scan the left rail. That rail is a straight line. That line and your eye form a plane, shown here in red. Scan the right rail. That rail and your eye determine a plane, shown blue. Now, let's change our point of view to see what you see on the tracks. You see the red and blue planes as two lines meeting at a point. The two rails are on those two planes, so you see them as converging to that point. You can verify this with a folded piece of cardboard. Align it so that the two planes, if extended, would meet the two rails. So you see, the two rails appear to converge because they lie on two intersecting planes, which you see as intersecting lines. So here's the takeaway. Look at a set of parallel lines. You have a line of sight that's parallel to them. Those parallel lines and your line of sight form a set of intersecting planes that you'd see as intersecting lines. So you see the parallel lines that lie on those planes as converging to a vanishing point. The next time you go for a walk, take a folded piece of cardboard along and see the math that's in plain sight.